Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the AWS Security Episode 5. And last time we discussed about the route tables and network access control list and how does security uh, implies into those components of the AWS. Today we'll take another deep down uh, and a bit more basic level understanding on what are the other components of the AWS. So by understanding this uh, components, you will be better be able to assist your clients, customers, your teams, uh, building the secure architecture about the AWS. Now, several times you must have heard like uh, we have this EC2 instance and uh, uh, we have this and this configuration. Uh, we use this AMI and all those jargon words. But you are not sure uh, like, you know, how, how does imply for the security and how, how you perform the security assessment on those so first off we're going to understand what are this and then probably in later lessons we'll talk about the security aspects of this uh, components now first thing what is ec2 uh, just think of it as a basic desktop computer so uh, this is just in cloud so like you know hosted somewhere into the aws data center uh, where you have uh, available number of like, you know, you can launch uh, as many number of instances as you want. Of course, depending on uh, like, you know, there are various options you can uh, subscribe to fixed number of EC2 instance. You can also have uh, on demand uh, and the pricing are also different depending on which option you choose. But uh, just in a simpler term, EC2 is the basic desktop computer. Now, if you were to see the actual definition of the EC2, uh, then uh, let's go to the uh, Amazon EC2 uh, page. And here it says like, you know, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud is a web service that provides secure, reliable compute capacity in the cloud designed to make web scale cloud computing easier for developers. EC2 simple web service interface allow you to obtain configured capacity with minimal friction. It provides you with complete control of your computing resources and lets you run Amazon for one computing environment. So in short, uh, what it provides is uh, initially like, you know, back in the days when you had to, let's say set up a, a website, you would have to buy the hardware, you have to pay for it and then uh, you have to deploy it and all those things. Now here it's easier because you can buy whatever uh, amount that you need, amount of processing power that you need, amount of space do you need, and then you can just spin it up in a few seconds or a few clicks, I would say. Uh, that's why you don't have to hassle around and like, you know, deal with those hardware expenses upfront. Uh, then also it provides flexibility. Now imagine uh, if there is a holiday season like November, December. So e-commerce, uh, for example, um, there are huge volume on the e-commerce website. There are a number of visitors who are coming into and generating a lot of traffic. So that time you need probably more computing power than the off season. So that's why, again, this provides a great flexibility. You can just based on the traffic that you encounter, it can auto increase or decrease the number of instances or computing power that require. Uh, that's why, uh, again, like, you know, it has become so much feasible. Now here are the components of the EC2 and what I've done is I've, I'm comparing with that desktop because this will be easier for uh, us to understand uh, how the AWS, like, you know, uh, what's the AWS terminology for the desktop components. So for example, the first one operating system, we all know we have like, you know, Windows, Linux, uh, Mac. Now for the AWS, it's called Amazon Machine Images or AMI. So whenever you uh, hear about the AMI, uh, think of it like you know it's a OS and I think it comes in two flavors Windows and Linux so you can uh, subscribe whatever you want CPU uh, uh, and desktop which is used mostly for processing power AWS uh, calls it the instance type uh, we'll take that we'll see in details uh, when we do the demo of the management console now storage, uh, we use hard drive in the desktop computer. AWS uses elastic block storage. Again, we'll discuss that in the later sessions. Uh, in the desktop, you have the network access card and all those things. Uh, here, AWS has IP addressing. I think we saw some of those uh, when we reviewed our subnet and uh, route tables and network access control list. 
in desktop we have firewall right so you enable firewall to prevent unauthorized traffic and all those things in aws we have security groups and that's uh, very important as a security uh, tester or uh, auditor you need to review the security groups and how they are set up so we'll definitely take a deep dive into those in desktop we have ram and aws also uh, come like you know tells us that's a ram terminology so there are a lot of similarities between the desktop and the aws only the terminology is different but we'll we'll uh, discuss each of those but let's start with the amazon machine images now ami what is it so it's a pre-configured package required to launch ac2 instance that includes an operating system software package and other required settings now imagine the situation uh, like uh, uh, I'm just gonna give you an example. Let's say you bought a, a laptop. So there are, there are two options. One, it comes with the MS DOS or let's say Linux uh, with uh, whatever the base functionality it provides. And the other one, if you have a corporate uh, laptop, it comes with the, let's say Windows uh, operating system and bunch of other required software packages like Adobe or Microsoft Office and all those things. So. Uh, this is what AMI uh, provides. Uh, you have options. You can choose whatever you want when you are spinning up the EC2 instance. Uh, uh, components, uh, as we discussed, like you know, you can uh, choose the OS, Linux, or Windows. You can also uh, choose like a application software, uh, for example, Apache. Uh, then you also define the launch permission. Uh, so interesting thing about this AMI and also from the security instance. So for example, let's say you have defined uh, one AMI OS or let's say you define this as a template. And when you define the template, uh, that means you can use the same AMI for future EC2 instance. So every time you want to spin up the EC2, you don't have to uh, select or, or make or create a new AMI. You can use the existing one or the one that you have created previously. Now, benefit of it, uh, benefit of uh, doing this is because once you create the AMI template and if you make it a very, very secure uh, in terms of like in locking down the ports, locking down the RDP access, uh, installing some certificates and all those things, you don't have to worry about the security in the future EC2 instance because you have done that into the template. So that's the benefit. And with the launch permission, what it allows is who could launch uh, the EC2 instance with this particular AMI? So who could have access? So that you can also define within template. Uh, block device mapping. So this is EBS mapping to the storage volume uh, that we'll discuss later on. So as I said, like you know, uh, you can use the same AMI for multiple EC2 instances, and this will be like you know, uh, generally organization does that if you if they have like you know multiple servers to spin up, so you can't just sit around and, and create multiple AMIs. You can just do create one and then use that for uh, remaining of your machines. And that's how it works. Now let's jump onto our management console and see how this AMI and EC2 instance look like. So if we go to our, uh, let's say, AWS management console, you will uh, see the EC2 right here uh, under all services. Once you click here, uh, you will have an option to launch the instance. Uh, right now we have zero running instances. Of course, we are not going to run launch the full instance, but let's see the option that it provides. Now, once you create, click on the launch instance, you will be given several options. Now, this is what I was talking about, like which operating system that you want to create. Now, if you see here, it says Amazon Linux. And now if you read the details, uh, it also says like, you know, some extra software packages that those are include. Same here, then you have Linux, then you have Red Hat. Then you also have Ubuntu. Then you have uh, Windows as well. So there are there are quite a few options and of course based on the operating system as well like uh, what uh, operating system and then also it comes with uh, uh, SQL server and the other packages so you select based on your need. Now if you see on the left hand side there are also community AMIs which are uh, free but of course a high probability of 
uh, having vulnerable configuration so this is what i uh, recommend when you're doing the security assessment check if they are using any uh, community uh, images and then uh, if they have performed any further lockdown or they are using as is because uh, of course community amis they are they, they don't uh, pay very much attention to the security so that's why it's important then you can also go to aws marketplace and it's like all the vendors uh, have their provide the similar solution so you can also choose from the vendor provided and then my mice so uh, remember uh, when i talked about creating the template so once you create your own you can reuse that one uh, to launch the ec2 instance so this is how generally uh, ami and uh, ec2 instance look like uh, within the aws and once you launch those and you go back to your services you will be able to see how many ec2 instances are running into the top section of your aws console yeah so here we can uh, able to see all those details uh, or like you know, what is ec2 because that's going to be a big section and big worry about uh, how to encrypt those how to encrypt ec2 how to make sure secure communication how to perform access control and security groups all those things so don't worry about that we'll uh, we'll take uh, let, talk about it lesson by lesson but yeah this is uh, do your homework make sure you read about this uh, ec2 and ami if you have any questions feel free to uh, uh, comment below i'll try my best to answer those uh, hit the like hit the like button if you like the video and then also please uh, hit the uh, like on the facebook page to get the regular updates uh, that's it from me i'll see you guys next time thank you